Good day, everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can validate an XML document against an XSD schema. So let me share my screen. So um, speaking about XML documents, um, XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, and it's really gaining a lot of grants of late. So what we want to do is, the XSD schema is like the dictionary for the XML document. So XML document is like an instance of our XSD. XSD, is, you can think of it like a dictionary in simple terms. So um, a tool that I use often to um, work with XML is XML Starlets. So you can read about it here. There's a Wikipedia article on it. Um, you can go through it. So what we are gonna be doing is, this XML starlet is quite useful. Um, you use it, um, you can use it with, um, on a Linux terminal or in a Windows command prompt. For this video, we are going to be using it using, um, because we are on Windows, we'll be using the Windows environment. We can see some of what it does. It can use, you can use it to check or validate XML files, can use it to calculate values. Most times I use it to pass XML as well as to validate XML files. But for this video, we'll be having a demo on how you can use XML starlet to validate an XML document. Remember what I said, you can think of an XSD like a dictionary of an XML document. So XML most times contains elements that have been defined in our XSD schema. So I created, um, it's, there's a simple XSD schema here that I came up with. It's very, very simple, contains name, address, city, and country. So I am, um, we are viewing it um, using the browser because I, I, um, I don't want to be sharing um, my different text editors. So we can see that this schema is quite straightforward. We can see an element called name and it's a string. We can see address should also be a string. The city should also be a string. The name should also be a string. Then we can see we also have um, a complex type over here that has title, notes, quantity, and price. So from this, we can see what our XML, um, we can see what our XML, Yeah, sorry about that. So you can see that um, we have um, different types. We we can have a simple type and also a complex type. A, sim a, a complex type contains multiple elements. So we can see some of the conditions over here and what is required and what is not required. Then um, based on this XSD schema, we have two XML documents here. I intentionally made one to be um, to be incorrect. Then one is um, is correct. So um, in this cheap order dot XML, we can see that the name is a string, the address is a string, and the like. So this is the correct one. However, in the um, cheap order copy dot XML. We can see that, um, where did I introduce the error? Um, I think it's on, just give me a moment. Yeah, it's under con quantity. You can see under quantity, we have food here. However, for the valid one, under quantity, we have one. And if you go to our schema, under quantity, you can see that it needs to be a positive integer. So the schema is saying that it should be a positive integer. So if we have an instance that is based on this XSD 
schema that is not a positive integer for that element quantity, then there will be an issue. It will flag it as an error. So without talking too much, let's just go straight to the practical session. So I'll be sharing my command prompt right now. So um, before we go to that, let me just show you how you can download the XML style. It is very straightforward. Just come over to, um, to, 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 to yeah, SourceForge. Yeah, then you can download. You can see on, on that Windows, you can just download it by clicking here. Yeah, I already downloaded it, so I do not need to click on it anymore. And you don't need to install anything. It's just to um extract the zip file and you run the .exe file xml.exe file if you are on um linux environments then you can use python to work with it um but for the case in in the case of windows we are working with this and one thing i want to also say is that the documentation around it um the the examples that are given here they are based on, where is that page? Okay, this is it. The examples that are given over here are based on the, um, they are based on the Linux um, installation of XML starlets. However, for this short demo, I will be working with Windows and I didn't get any material on using it on Windows environment. I just tried to, um, get corresponding Windows command for each of these. And I tried to come up with something and that's how I was able to get it working on Windows environment. So this is pretty useful. So let me stop sharing and I will be resharing my, um, my command prompt, which is already running. Yeah, so I believe you can see my command prompt right now. So we have this. So this is my command prompt. Remember what we want to do is we want to validate our XML document against an XML schema. So we have two XML document that we want to validate. So you can choose to also validate just one, but I want it to be faster. So I will just validate. So you can validate more than two. You can validate 10 at a time. So what command are we going to use? So you can go through the documentation to get the command to be used. However, I will be um I will be typing a command over here. I already have it typed in my notepad and I will just be pasting it over here. So you can see what we have here. So I'm calling this .exe file, which is from the XML starlet folder that was extracted. Then I'm entering VAL. VAL stands for validation because what I want to do is to validate. There are many things you can do with XML starlet. Then I enter -g. Ifin G simply means I want to output the good XML document. So the valid XML document will be outputted. So there's also a hyphen B. So if I wanted to output the bad ones, I would use hyphen B. Then hyphen S means that um, I want to validate based on XSD. So there are so many type of schemas that are that can be associated with XML, and many of them are. Um, they are compatible with, they can work with XML starlet. But for this, um, for this tutorial, for this demo, I'm working with XSD, which is the most, is quite flexible compared to um, DT, T, document, um, um, DTD and XSLT and the likes. But in this case, I want to work with XSD. So that's why I'm using iFin S. Then now the path to the XSD, so which I showed you earlier on in my browser, it's in the same directory that I am on and it's cheaporder.xsd. Then this is the first um, XML document. The other does not really matter. You can put this as the second. 
and this is the um, second one. Rem remember, this was the valid one. Shipoder.xml was valid. Shipoder.copy.xml was the invalid one. So by running this, the output, it should sh display the one that is bad because I'm using iPhone B. So I would um, press enter now. I'll click on the return button and we can see, yeah, we, we can see the one that is bad, cheap order copy, because re remember that under quantity, I entered a string instead of a decimal. So now, let me now change the hyphen B to hyphen G. So I want to see the good one now. So if this is truly working, then I should get the um, cheap order.xml because that one does not contain any error. And you can see that's what I have. So um, in this video, we've been able to see how we can use XML starlet to validate an XML document based on an XSD schema. Um, and um, this is based on Windows environment, which is different from what is in the documentation. So this um, demo is, um, I believe is quite useful and let's take note of it. Yeah, so this is the end of this tutorial. Have a nice day, everyone.